So um, in these next few tutorials, I'm going to look at spline dynamics in Cinema 4D and we're going to create this simple animation. So I'm just going to start with a fresh scene and uh, I'm going to create a piece of text. I'm just going to call it Quick VFX. Choose a different font. This. So I'm just going to create a cube. Uh, just make it smaller. Something like that. I'm just going to switch to a hidden line mode. Like that. And I'm going to call this cube left. And then I'm just going to copy and paste it. Call the next one cube right. And I just move that over here. And I'm going to make these editable. Okay. So next I'm going to create the spline. I'm going to go into my front viewport like this. And I'm just going to use this tool here, linear. And I'm just going to create a spline from this point on the cube to around here. Like that. I'm going to call this spline left and then just create another from here to about here. Call that spline right. So um, I'm going to start with this spline and I'm going to go to um, tags, pair tags, and create a spline dynamics tag like this. So that's applied and um, if we play it back, the spline just simply falls down. So next I'm going to add more subdivisions to this spline. As you can see there's only two points. So I'm going to go to Mesh, Commands and uh, Subdivide. Give it eight subdivisions. Whoops. You need to actually deselect any vertexes before you do that. So I'm just going to go back to the spline subdivide 8. Now we've got 8 uh, subdivisions. Just going to do the same to the spine right. Just deselect everything. 8 subdivisions. Okay. Just going to add another uh, spine dynamics tag to the right spine. So I'm just going to focus on the left spine just for now. Next I'm going to add a constraint which is basically we're going to attach the spine to this cube and to the quick VFX text on the cube here. So I'm just going to go to tags, hair tags, and constraint. And um, we've got these options here. So what you need to do is you need to um, select the vertex you're interested in. So I'm just going to select this vertex next to the cube. And then I'm going to drag and drop cube left into the object field here. And Click set. I don't know if you can see it, but it creates a kind of yellow uh, line, which means we're now attached. So if I just hit play, the string kind of falls down and dangles. So I'm just going to create another constraint, hair tags constraint, and I'm going to select this vertex here, and then drag and drop the motex into the object field and hit set. So now we've got. Uh, two attachment points. If I hit play, it's attached to the queue. And this one just falls down. And uh, also on the spline, we can choose uh, different types. So by default, it's set to linear, but we can choose something like a kima, which gives a much smoother kind of look. Although you can't really see it here. So I'm just going to highlight the mold text and um, I'm going to give this a simple rigid body tag. So now when we play this back, it just falls down. And um, so basically I don't want it to fall down like this. But um, So what we need to do is we need to create a spring. So I'm just going to go to simulate dynamics spring. 
and uh, it's looking for an object A and object B. So I'm just going to start with the left spline, obviously. I'm going to drag and drop cube left. And then object B is quick VFX. I'm just going to drag that in there. And you can see it created this kind of line. And that's basically our spring. But uh, it's not working the way we want it to because um, we need to change this kind of offset point because right now it's attached to the center of quick VFX and I want it to basically follow this line exactly and attach about here. So what we can do is we can come to this option, attachment B, and choose offset. I'm just going to go to the front viewport. And now from here, we can adjust this offset. So I'm just, you can see this line moving here and uh, I'm just going to move it up. So this now matches perfectly that spline left we created. Now, once you do this, you want to hit set rest length. I want this to be basically um, a string at rest. So if I just play this back, we can see it's now, oops, where did it go? Well, it looks a lot more realistic basically, and it's not falling all the way down. So I'm just going to quickly do the same operations to this side. We haven't even added the constraints yet to this uh, spline right. So I'm just going to add air tags, constraint, follow the same procedure as before. This vertex, cube right, set. Add another constraint, this vertex here. Motex set. Just gonna see what happens here. So as you can see, this side has a spring, but this side is just falling down to infinity. We don't want that, so I'm just gonna create another spring. And I'll call that first one spring right. Sorry, spring left. The second one is spring right. Object A, cube right, object B, motex, and we need to offset this line. Come up there, go to the front view, come up there, set rest length, 312, and let's play this back. So now it definitely looks like quick VFX is attached to two pieces of string just dangling there. Um, if I just move quick VFX up, I'll show you what I mean by the rest length. So it falls down and basically the rest length is the strings kind of stretch limit. That looks a bit kind of too bouncy. So what you what you can do is you can go to um, the springs and just add a bit more damping. So fifty percent here, fifty percent there, and then it shouldn't bounce as much now. That looks a bit more natural. I'll just hide these springs so you can see the these two ropes, and that's basically it. And um, if you want to add thickness to these splines, obviously you can use a sweep. And you'll need a cross section, a circle here. That's very thick, so I'm just going to reduce the thickness down to two centimeters. We'll do the same here. I'll just duplicate this. Is that right? Oops, I chose a subdivision service. I'll just delete that. There we go. So now this will render. You can definitely see these strings wires, whatever. 
So that's a very basic introduction to spine dynamics and uh, thanks for watching.